We've been traveling the world as digital nomads. The juggling act of working full time so we can go on epic adventures around the globe on weekends. Currently, we are in Tbilisi, Georgia. And after having explored the history of the city, getting bathed and scrubbed by a stranger at the sulfur baths, and trying all the best food of Georgia, it was time to try all the best wine of Georgia. Join us for a cable car ride and drinking wine at a 200 year old underground cellar and trying all the speciality wines of Georgia. But first, breakfast. Just got my eggs benedict with salmon. It looks amazing. I, it's so different. My bread is like sweet and it's like more lemony the sauce and like creamy. It's so nice. You have to try Paul's in the city center for an amazing breakfast. And then we were off to the park. This is the first time we're at the other side of the bridge. We're gonna do the cable car. Look at Mother Georgia, the fortress. I think there's a park up there. If we can get to the cable car. In Ukraine and Georgia, you'd find similar statues called Mother Ukraine and Mother Armenia, the mothers of post-Soviet countries. Oh, there's some zip lining there. Should go down there somewhere. <laughs> Three jar, like 15 rand to come up with a cable car. So I think you should do it in the day and then want to come back at night for all the lights. It's really cool, you can see Mother Georgia. Not sure the history about her yet. <laughs> we'll go and look that up. There's a fortress and there's a botanical garden zip and zip lining. And it's just really beautiful. It's like you can tour, drink coffee tour and. With electric car. Tour with electric car. Walking on the fortress walls, which is fun, isn't it? Whee! I like how they have all these little positions where you can. <laughs> look out. Yeah. Oh, where they shot the people from. Fortress Narikala was established in the 4th century and was originally a Persian citadel. If you are new here, for every new subscriber, we feed a stray animal. So make sure to click that subscribe button. You can also donate meals for the price of only a takeaway coffee at www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash info travels. Walking down these stairs to the cave. They say that you should take the cable car up and then walk down. <laughs> it's just so nice and the river and the bridges and the traditional music. Such a vibe. Hey. I wonder why we would like we go out more because we're just in a different country. Why don't we like do more things in our own country rather than sleeping or Netflixing away for the weekend because we're tired from work? Because we can do it any other time. Good. to have my glasses though. Like a big waterfall in the middle of the city. Yeah. Feels like you're Crack. like in Montague or something two hours out of the city. In the middle of the In the, city. the canyons. Literally in the middle of the city. Literally in the middle of the city. Very cool though. 
we have this cute coffee shop or place and you can eat and drink. I think we should come for dinner somewhere along here, the second thing, it'll be nice. It has this really awesome view. It feels like you're in Disneyland or like in a fairy tale. It's like the way the buildings are built on, like planned. They just happen on top of each other. It's actually today is like the first day that we're a bit cold. But I'm just wearing this and like a jersey. And Jaya's wearing a t-shirt and like a jacket. Um, it's too hot when you're walking. Yeah, when you're walking in out, it gets warm. But it's such a cool city. I had mint tea, Jaya had a glass of wine. We had five dumplings and a bottle of water was 120 rand. Which is not bad. Some King Kali's, which is like the traditional Georgian dumplings, and last time we had them, they were delicious. Hey, Jared. Yeah. They're a bit bigger than normal dumplings, and you have to eat them in a specific way. So this top part is like the dough, which is kind of like the handle, <laughs> and you don't really eat it, and then you go like this. So you hold it like this, and then you have to make a, take a bite here at the top of it, at the top of it, <laughs> and then. You kind of gotta suck the meat and the juices out at the same time, so to make and eat the dough with it. So you have to combine the correct amount of it. It's all about the sauce. Huh? Yes. So, you know if it's a if, it's saucy inside. if it's saucy inside. If there's no sauce, it means it wasn't very good and it cooked all the flavor away. So it's not very attractive when you eat it. And you'll have to slurp while you eat it. So the rest of you get cold. Oh, so good. It's so good. The meat is like. So flavorful, so good. And so this is one of the coolest places I've ever seen, and with an atmosphere like no other, and so cozy. You just want to stay all day and drink wine. It is semi underground, and you feel like you're in a king's dungeon chamber and the wine is so good like all the places we visit or stay in i've linked it in the description oh, below wow. yes so yeah every wine is of carlos Schwelle, and you can take a look Uh, smoked sulgoni and imerube. <laughs> both are <clears throat> both are very common in Georgia. Okay. Like this is imerule, white mm -hmm. one, and sulgoni smoked. Awesome. Oh, yeah. nice. So, which one do you prefer? Dry, semi-sweet. We have 527 types of grapes in Georgia, but Ooh. not all of them are made for wine. You know. So this is European style. That's why it has a color like this. So that's why it's soft, because it's not clay pot. Georgia uh, makes wine in its own way and was one of the first countries to ever produce wine. The traditional way of making it is in clay pots, which the wine is fermented in when buried underground. On the big table, it's a one man who is leading the toast, say, yeah. saying the main toasts, and uh, Ha he's saying toast every 10 minutes, you know, <laughs> and you m have to drink with them. <laughs> with you, uh, you must leave him, you know. Yeah. He is saying a toast, you must drink, drink this glass. <laughs> so that's why it's an easy one. So, so nice. you can drink this bottle or bottle. I really like it. Saperavi. Saperavi is a grape variety native to Georgia, and you'll find them all over Georgia wine of this place. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, it's favorite wine and uh, usual wines, uh, usual ones were sold out, so we have only premium. premium. Oh. Yeah. Another very popular wine all across Georgia is amber wines, made with white grape varieties, with the skin is left on the grape when it's fermented, so it has a much darker color. It's not very sweet and can also be quite dry. Uh, do you know the history about this uh, Kisin? Uh, actually, mm -hmm. when it was Soviet Union here, they burned all of the villages and uh, Kisi grapes. Yeah. And it was almost on the Red Book because it was all, it doesn't continue its existence. And then some of families, they kept these uh, seeds. Oh, yes, so they kept the seeds and after Soviet Union were ruined, they reborn this. 
I'll just so we are every one bar. so we are done wine tasting for the day I have to go back tomorrow because I only take cash for the wines we want to buy for Christmas ATM and New Year's. Banks are like so far away. Yeah, so we'll go back tomorrow to get our wines. But now we're joining our friend tour guide Levan at his usual drinking spot for some wine. Yeah. More wine. Uh, so it's a K H K. You would have met Levan in some of our previous Georgia videos. He is the founder of Tbilisi Free Walking Tours and became like a friend who we hanged out with after hours. This is also a super quaint wine bar, his favorite. And don't you always meet some very interesting people in bars? And what better way to end of a night than with some jazz? The next video is our last video in Tbilisi, Georgia before we head off to Kutaisi in Georgia. We meet up with some friends from back home and do a bunch of fun things across the city. Like going up the vernacular, going to sulfur bars, getting on a bus around the city, going to the parks, renting scooters, eating a lot, drinking wine and drinking more wine. Guess you're gonna have to watch it to see what we get up to. Thank you for watching, remember to subscribe and everything is linked down below in the description if you want to visit any of the places we visited.